Hello, nerds. Thank you for joining me here on Nerd News Clips. This is the second channel. Uh, this is the place for all of the short form content as well as the individual sections and just generally speaking, smaller things. If you are into the longer form content, youtube.com slash generally nerdy is the place to go see that. With that out of the way, let's get into this. So we're going to TV streaming. TV streaming, we do have follow-ups and we have one gigantic follow-up. But first, we have a follow-up on The Witcher. There is casting uh, for The Witcher. We have Robbie Amell it has been cast as Galatan. Again, going to mispronounce these names and I apologize. Uh, Manger Z uh, Zhang as Milva. Hugh Skinner as Prince Rodavid. Uh, sure. Uh, again, not super familiar with the franchise uh, outside of the series, but I okay. <laughs> and then we also have Christelle Elwin as Missile. These are the new cast members for season three. Season three is actively in production. That is our follow up. And now let's get to this giant, giant beast of a follow up. And that is Fall of the House of Usher. Technically, this is actually two follow ups, though both are, both are casting announcements. So first thing, Frank Langella, who we talked about previously as being cast in this series, has actually been fired from this series for very dark reasons, that the kind of stuff that we don't really get into on the channel, uh, sadly enough. Uh, so he, they are about halfway through filming, and they're going to be refilming everything that Langella has done. Uh, he was cast as Roderick Usher, who is one of the leads, one of the patriarchs, I believe, for the Usher family, the way that uh, they're going to be doing it in the series. So he's going to be recast and everything he's done is going to be reshot. So that sucks in multiple ways. And hopefully all of this nonsense gets figured out and we know exactly where everything stands. But that's only the first of two. The second one is gigantic. So bear with me, if you will. Uh, so we have casting. We're going to go over all of the known casting and then the new casting. So uh, Carla Gugino has been cast. We know this. We don't know who she's been cast as. We do have Mary McDonald uh, going to be Roderick's sister, Madeline Usher. Uh, there's going to be Carl Lum who's going to be Poe's legendary investigator from the Usher story, uh, C. August Dupin. Mark Hamill is going to be another mysterious character. And then we have Henry Thomas, who uh, is going to be returning. This he, Now we're into new casting. So Henry Thomas returning. <clears throat> this is the eighth time he's worked with Mike Flanagan. Uh, then we have Samantha Sloyan, Tania Miller, Raul Coley, Kate Siegel, who is Flanagan's wife. So, of course, uh, Sarian Sep Sepkota. Apologies for the mispronunciations of the names. Uh, Katie Parker, Michael Trucco, Malcolm Goodwin, Crystal Bellini, Kylie Curran, Paolo Nunez, Aya Furikawa, uh, Matt Bidel, Daniel Jun, Ruth Codd, Robert Longstreet, and Annabeth Gish. Uh, many of those are returning cast members. Many of those are new cast members returning with Mike Flanagan because none of Flanagan's stuff is technically sequel, whatever. Uh, yeah, going to be awesome. Just going to be freaking fantastic. This is such a studded uh, ensemble of a cast that I'm just super freaking excited that it's happening. Uh, I'm just going to keep gushing, so we're going to move on. Next, we have another casting announcement. This one's going in reverse, and this one's for The Flash on The CW. We have been uh, informed that Jesse L. Martin, who plays Father Joe West, uh, you know, Iris's dad, uh, Wally's dad, so on and so forth, is not returning for season nine. He is going to be going to NBC's The Irrational, whatever the hell that is. Uh, we know how well this worked over on the Walking Dead series for Lauren Cohen, so maybe if they go for a season 10, he'll return. But as it stands right now, that is not the case. So we're moving on. Uh, we do have some new trailers to get it out of the way. Uh, the And again, sorry, I'm going so fast. I'm trying to beat a number of things. It's a little bit late. I, the research went long and actually personal things got in the way. So whatever, it is what it is. Trailers in TV streaming. We have Love, Death and Robots. Volume three is already giving us a trailer. I'm super, super excited about this. The trailer though uses a lot of recycled bits from the first two volumes 
volumes because it's Netflix, they're calling it volumes. Uh, used a lot of bits from the first, first two volumes, but there's still some good little tidbits about what we're going to be catching in volume three, which looks to be a little bit more in line with one than two, which is definitely the way I would want it to go. And Fincher is to Fincher. So it's going to be fantastic either way. And it's absolutely a trailer that you should watch. Uh, it kind of psychs you out at the beginning. So don't think you've clicked the wrong link because definitely didn't link to what you think it is the first half, uh, the first like five, 10 seconds. It very quickly becomes Love, Death, and Robots. But yeah, uh, next we have of one that's got me super freaking excited. Kids in the Hall is making a return to television, kind of, is actually going to be a streaming series again on Prime. It's launching May 13th. This is a 26-year hiatus for the Canadian sketch comedy troupe and wow uh just looking at the the storied career of all of these guys since this series was on back when i was a kid on i, I believe in the states it came over to comedy central first but it's been on a number of other things i think it was on sci-fi for a hot second cbs even had some episodes so very interesting history behind this show it is freaking ridiculously hilarious. I love literally all of the, the the actors in this. Again, we're moving as fast as possible, so I'm going to try and not uh, dwell on this one for too long, but there are two links for this down in the description. You have the regular trailer plus the Red Band trailer. Go watch both of them and try to not laugh your ass off. That is what we have for trailers. We do have some news in TV streaming. First up is a piece about a uh, an IP called Humanimals. Okay, so NFTs are, at least for the time being, not going anywhere. And so this is around a new series of NFTs that is going to be launching soon. You do not have to buy the NFT in order to appreciate the animated series that is going to be launching around it as well. It is just going to be marketing, though, for the NFTs. So that piece of, of this out of the way. The other part of this, the reason it made it onto the radar is because Vic Mignogna, Mignogna, I'm not going to be able to pronounce his name, dude that did the voice on Brawly and, and Dragon Ball and, you know, the guy who was disgraced and got booed out of Comic-Cons uh, a number of times because he got accused, even though he was never charged of certain things that you were not going to get into because again we don't cover such things on this show but he has been signed on to play the lead for this show which man his he, he really must be hurting for work if that is the work he's getting he's doing an animated NFT ad, effectively. Uh, no word yet as to where this series is going to be streamed, though it is going to be streamed, because <laughs> no terrestrial television network is going to pick something like this up. Uh, Crunchyroll, Funimation, none of it. Uh, yeah, so that's where we sit on Humanimals. Oh man, this is, I, I, part of me really hopes this actually doesn't happen, but I, I mean, everybody needs a livelihood. This is what Vic does for a living. So I hope eventually he can get cast in something that's worth his time and not this garbage. Anyway, uh, next we have just a real fun, quick bit about Star Trek, the next generation. This is not a new series. Well, it could be actually. So Star Trek Next Generation is no longer airing new episodes. We have Picard now. We have Discovery that's kind of ties into it. We have Strange New Worlds that's going to be happening as well. And, but we also have a, a YouTube channel by the name of Gazelle Automations that has given us an animated pilot for a series that could have been. This is the original Next Generation cast animated to look like the 70s uh, original Star Trek animation. Uh, animated series that happened as a kind of sort of prequel to the original Star Trek that happened in the 70s. So just a lot of fun. Go watch it. It's free on YouTube to watch uh, and just yours to enjoy. Uh, that is what we have for TV streaming. Our suggestion for this is uh, actually a lot of fun uh, because I am, you know, the big Mortal Kombat nerd that I am. We're going to be suggesting... Mortal Kombat Conquest. Conquest spelled with a C and not a K for reasons. I, I could really honestly explain it to you, but we don't have that kind of time. But yes, Conquest is totally worth a watch. It's if you liked like say Hercules back in the day or the Xena Warrior Princess series back in the day, this is 
It's very similar to those. It just deals with Mortal Kombat IP. Kind of its own mythology in the world of Mortal Kombat just uses the characters in similar ways, uh, but still a lot of fun. You get to learn kind of who the OG Kung Lao is in the mythology. Again, very, very loosely based on the gaming mythology, but still, I remember watching these episodes brand new when they were airing, and now my guys over at the Kamidogu podcast are doing a series on each. Uh, they're doing a rewatch series on the podcast, so definitely where the watch go get, go check out kamidogu.com and you can see the the audio podcast where they're breaking down each episode and talking about them like you do in a rewatch uh, podcast and also some of my writing exists up there as well so a little bit of a shameless self-plug on top but that's our suggestion. Once again, this has been just a brief segment from the larger episode that has been posted over on the main channel, youtube.com slash generally nerdy. Go over there for the long form content or just subscribe here if you want it in bite-sized chunks. Thank you very much for joining me, nerds. We'll see you in the next one. Before we go though, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.